Aghamazing! This is Surbas of Surbas TV. In this video, we are going to explore seasons and how do seasons occur. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag Aghamazing. Let's go! Have you ever wondered why other countries experience four seasons? And why our country, the Philippines, only experience wet and dry seasons? Seasons are different periods of the year that are distinguished by special weather and climate conditions. The year is divided into four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Each season has a different amount of light received from the sun, different temperatures, and different weather conditions that repeat yearly. Earth spins around its axis. An axis is an imaginary line passing through the center of the Earth that goes through both the North Pole and the South Pole. The spinning motion of Earth around its axis is called rotation. It takes 24 hours or one day for the Earth to completely rotate around on its axis. As the Earth rotates, half of the Earth faces the Sun. This part of the Earth experiences daytime. The other half of the Earth faces away from the Sun. This part of the Earth experiences nighttime. Aside from rotation, the Earth also moves around the Sun. This movement is called revolution. It takes 365 and one fourth days or one year for the Earth to move around the Sun. Look at the axis of the Earth. What can you observe? Correct! The axis of the Earth is tilted or it is slanted and turned toward one side. The Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees. The tilt of the Earth's axis is the reason behind the occurrence of seasons. Because the Earth's axis is tilted or slanted, different parts of the Earth receive different amounts of sunlight as the Earth revolves around the Sun. This results in different temperatures and different weather conditions we call seasons. The hemisphere that receives more solar rays will experience warmer temperature, and the hemisphere that receives lesser solar rays will experience cooler temperature. When the axis of the Earth points toward or away from the Sun, solstices occur. During solstices, unequal lengths of days and night are experienced in different places of the Earth. The first day of summer is marked by the summer solstice which occur during June 21 or June 22. And the first day of winter is marked by the winter solstice which occur during December 21 or 22. Observe this picture. In which month is the North Pole tilted toward the Sun? In June or in December? You are right! The North Pole is tilted toward the Sun in June. This means that the Northern Hemisphere is also tilted toward the Sun during this month. Since the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the Sun, it receives more direct rays from the Sun. It also experiences longer daytime than nighttime. The longer daytime will cause the surface of the Earth to heat up for a longer period. The shorter period of nights will cause a lesser time for the Earth's surface to cool down. Hence, it is warm during this time in the Northern Hemisphere. From April to August, different countries located north of the equator will receive direct rays and experience summer. On the other hand, the southern hemisphere during the month of June receives lesser direct rays from the sun. It experiences a shorter period of daytime and a longer period of nighttime. Hence, countries located in this hemisphere experience winter during this month of the year. The Earth is constantly moving. After six months or during the month of December, the Earth has moved to other side of the Sun. 
At this time of the year, the northern hemisphere receives lesser rays from the sun. Hence, countries in this area experience a time of cold. Countries located in the temperate zone will experience winter. And countries located in the tropical regions such as the Philippines will experience the cold season. In the month of December, it is the South Pole that is tilted toward the sun. It is the Southern Hemisphere that receives more direct rays from the sun. Hence, countries located in this region experience summer or warmer temperature. Thus, when it is warm in the Southern Hemisphere, it is cold in the Northern Hemisphere and vice versa. When the axis of the Earth does not point either toward or away from the Sun, an equinox occurs. During an equinox, the duration of days and nights are almost equal. The first day of spring is marked by the vernal equinox, which happens on March 21 or 22. It is spring in the north and autumn in the south. Meanwhile, the first day of the autumn season is marked by the autumnal equinox which happens on September 21 or 22. It is autumn in the north and spring in the south. In the Philippines, we only experience two seasons, wet and dry seasons. This is because the Philippines is located near the equator. The amount of sunlight that the countries near the equator receive do not vary significantly throughout the year. According to PAGASA or Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, using temperature and rainfall as basis, the climate of the country can be divided into two major seasons the rainy season from June to November, and the dry season from December to May. The dry season may be subdivided into cold dry season and hot dry season. In general, we experience seasonal change because of the tilt of the Earth's axis, revolution of the Earth around the sun, the direct rays of the sun, and the length of daytime. See you on our next science lesson! Ugh, amazing!